The Revolution Robot Self-Propelled Power Pre-Stretch Wrapper. I just want to run through some of the key features on this machine. Now, this machine was designed primarily to wrap pallets that were extremely unstable, or if there were extra wide or extra long pallets, or they don't travel well when you're moving them with a forklift from one location to another. And one key point here, people say when I talk to them about the robot, we don't have enough space in our warehouse. Well, if you put pallets one next to the other, leave a space approximately three feet gap between the pallets, that's all the space that's needed with the robot to run around and wrap the pallet. And that's no more space than you would leave for a human person that was walking around to manually hand wrap that same pallet. So, some of the quick features. Now, first of all, it's 110 volts, which means it's a simple plug-in, like you plug into the back of your computer and you plug directly into the wall. There's no other power converter, power box, or any other item that you need. You have the forklift channels, which are here and here. Now this is allow, if you're picking up the machine and you're moving it to long distance, if you have two warehouses and you're moving it from one side to the next, or if you're gonna move it about 200 yards from one end of the warehouse to the other, that's a more efficient way of moving it around long distance. And they have heavy duty wheels, we've got three. Then here, we have the safety front bumper. Now, if this bumper touches a pallet, or if it touches somebody's foot, or somebody kicks it, or it hits something on the floor, it'll stop the machine dead in its tracks. And then we have the traveling handle. What this is for, it has a start button to go forwards and a start button to go backwards. This is for is if you're gonna move the machine from one pallet to the other, and it can steer the robot, just so that you can, when it's finished wrapping one pallet, you can detach the film and just move it to the next pallet. And then here we have the guide wheel and the guide arm. This is the guy that tracks the pallet and it's spring loaded. Now it can be adjusted, there's an adjustment at the top here and allows you whether you want this tracking wheel to track the bottom of the pallet, somewhere up around maybe three inches from the floor, or some customers have it tracking the product that's on the pallet. You know, it just depends on the type of pallet you're wrapping and personal preference. Now again, the batteries. There's two batteries on this unit. They're inside here, they're covered, they're protected from the elements and from people touching. Then we have the HMI control panel, which has all the various programs and all the settings can be changed and pre-programmed here. We've got the gauge that shows the battery life. This unit will wrap up to about two to 300 pallets on a single charge. Now a lot of that depends on how many wraps are going on the pallet, the pallet size, the pallet height. It has the key start on and off, which means, you know, if you have the machine parked and you don't want people playing with it, you just take the key, nothing can happen with the machine. You've got the start and the stop button. Then you've got the home position that resets the machine and then obviously the emergency stop. Now the machine has an audible sound system when it's in operation. So just to give you an example, Now this is the sound that the machine makes when it's in operation and obviously it's got a red strobe light at the top of the tower. Now one neat feature on the Revolution robot is what we call our high and low stretch. Now underneath here you can adjust manually, it takes about 20 seconds and you can change from low stretch ratio which means the power pre-stretch system will stretch the film 200% prior to putting it onto the pallet. And then in the high stretch ratio, that means you're gonna stretch the film up to 250% prior to applying it onto the pallet. So a lot of times it's gonna depend on the type of film that you're running, or maybe on the application. You know, depending on the pallet, if you want more stretch out of the film, or you just want less. And then again, obviously you have your dancer rollers and dancer bars. And uh, just to show you what the inside of the pre-stretch carriage looks like. Here you obviously have the uh, power pre-stretch rollers and then all the dancer rollers. So again, this is the Revolution. This is our power pre-stretch machine robot. And that's just a quick overview.